Hello, I'm Rana Taki and I'm from Turkey. And um, today I'll, I will be presenting my study on the prevalence of MECA of methicillin resistance to Apicococcus aureus in bacterial species. So first of all, I want to talk about what Staphylococcus aureus is. It's a type of bacteria that is the cause of the MRSA disease, which um, most of you might have heard. It colonizes and inhibits mucosal surfaces in humans. It was initially present in hospital settings, but now because of um, the increases of resistant bacteria, it is also in the community. MRSA basically causes bacterial infections that could be deadly because methicillin resistance to Bilococcus aureus is resistant to antibiotics. And so there is no drug um, to be able to treat these infections. The methicillin resistance is coded by the MEK genes in these bacteria. And these genes could evolve faster and like they could change their resistance through um, gene transfer. Methicillin resistance, as I said, is coded by MEK genes, and MEK genes are on a mobile genetic element called the SEC MEK. Um, it's a chromosome, it's a cassette chromosome in Staphylococcus. And MEK A is actually responsible to encode the penicillin binding protein 2A, which I'm gonna talk about later, which has a low affinity for beta lactams, therefore having resistance to almost all beta lactam class antibiotics such as like methicillin, penicillin, and cefazolin. Penicillin binding proteins are transpeptidases um, in which radio-labeled penicillin binds, marking the binding sites of beta-lactam compounds and inhib inhibiting the cell wall synthesis so that um, the bacteria wouldn't be able to like destroy by antibiotics due to infrequent, infrequent binding of beta-lactam to penicillin binding 2A. Um, cell wall synthesis in the mRNA continues, promoting cell replication and growth, and therefore increasing the infection in the infected area. So I actually extended my study to other bacteria as well, because they also pose the risk of evolving and transferring their genes and developing distinctive resistances. And um, I believe that apart from mRSA, there will be other resistant bacteria, and there is some other antibiotic resistant protein producing bacteria. And these could be fatal for bacterial infections that we always get throughout the day. And therefore, understanding the prevalence of the genes which could cause the resistance is of great significance of developing a solution and taking the next step in developing antibiotics. In my study, the structures of proteins encoded by MEK and mek like genes were interpreted in the context, context of antibiotic resistance. And I concluded that further research in the field of antibiotic development is needed urgently to battle severe infections caused by antibiotic resistant pathogens to prevent possible out, outbreaks in the future. I talked a lot about the penicillin binding protein 2A. Um, this is my protein in this side. As you can see, it has three main domains. It has a transmembrane domain, an on penicillin binding domain, and a transpeptidase domain. It is in the membrane, so it kind of like uh, promotes membrane, cell membrane synthesis. And the structure of the protein is really important to understand because there are several binding binding sites where the antibiotic resistance is actually present, like those binding sites bind beta-lactam antibiotics to it and deactivates it basically. Most bacteria have evolved different binding sites so that they could bind to different types of antibiotics as well, increasing the range of antibiotics bacteria are resistant to. To continue my study, I first studied different strains of MRSA and I studied the MECA gene of different strain of MRSA and I kind of compared it to each other. So I had these um, B plus H1, C4, CM24, C3, C2, TNT, VR, BM, SA2, and 14, MECA, SA1, S1, and B17, and TMZ222 strains. They're all different strains of MRSA, and they all have the MECA gene. And I compared them to each other, and as you can see from the E values, that they had very similar MECA genes, and they had they barely had any differences, and um, they had a lot of overlapping locations. So I concluded that, like amongst the strains of MRSA, the MECA gene might have 
um, transfer, transferred by horizontal gene transfer, which is actually a very fast transfer method for bacteria. And this poses, this again, like poses the risk of how fast bacteria could evolve to develop antibiotics resistance and how fast we should move actually to produce better antibiotics. And then the next table, I have um, the similarities of the MEK gene in different Staphylococcus species. This doesn't have to be Staphylococcus aureus. And as you can see, the E value is really, really small here as well. And that indicates that there's a, a huge similarity between the MEK genes of all these species, especially like in the Staphylococcus species, the gene would be like transferred by a horizontal gene transfer without having any major mutations in the gene. The fast spread of this gene is actually really dangerous for humanity just because infections could be, could not be treated. My next and last table is actually the extension of my study to other species of bacteria. I have quite a few species of bacteria here and some have, well, some have very high levels of identity. I mean, most have very high levels of identity. Um, they have an E value really close to zero, which means, again, the MEK gene is very similar to that of the MRSA in these species as well. The MEK gene is not specific only to um, Staphylococcus species, but they are also present in other species of bacteria. These genes might be expressed or they might not be expressed in other species of bacteria depend depending on their mechanisms, but there is the possibility that these bacteria will also develop and evolve to be antibiotic resistant, which some of them are. Indole mutations were absent, helping the proteins to maintain structure. So they don't have um, insertion or deletion mutations, which kind of frame sh shift the whole gene and differentiate the protein from that of the real one. So because there were all point mutations, the protein actually kept its structure and the binding sites were also active. M. scruci and M. lentis produce PBP2A family um, beta-lactam resistant peptidoglycan transpeptidase MECA. That's the name of the protein, and M. fluoretti and M. vitilinus encoded PBB2, which is also a derivation of the penicillin binding 2A, protein 2A. M. vitilinus had nine binding sites, which was um, able to bind to beta lactam proteins, uh, beta lactam antibiotics, and um, a bunch of uh, these species like M. Cassiolitis had MECD, which encoded the alternative PBP2A MECD. And however, this PBP2A MECD had no ligands since the binding sites were not conserved. That makes it a, a less possibility for it to be antibiotic resistant. And C. Isadidis contained the Ben510578.5 which was located in three different sites in the genome and produced PBP, so penicillin binding protein. And um, since the structure of this protein was not differentiated in C. isadidis, this is also bacteria that possibly have evolved antibiotic resistance. And um, the reason why we see so much mutations in some of these species, but some of them are pretty similar, is that is the difference between horizontal gene transfer and vertical gene transfer, where in horizontal tra gene transfer, you could basically transfer the genes really easily and you transfer the identical gene. But in the vertical gene transfer, as species develop, the gene also evolves and it differentiates from the original gene. So I wanna move on to um, what I got from this study. Um, well, high similarities between Staphylococcus suggest that MEK was transferred by a horizontal gene transfer. Um, despite the mutations in the first part of the gene, no change was observed in the amino acid sequence in the Staphylococcus species. The abundance of MEK and PBP2A in Staphylococci indicates that the antibiotic resistance has originated before the speciation of Staphylococcus and MEK continues to survive in the gene pool. So therefore, diseases such as skin infections, pneumonia, endocarditis, um, osteomyelitis, and infectious arthritis would be untreatable with the rapid 
uh, spread of this resistance. The resistance is not only limited to Staphylococcus species, but is also prevalent in other species. M. floretti and M. vitulinus encoding PBP2 were susceptible to beta-lactam antibiotics, whereas um, M. scruishi and M. lentis encoding PBV2A were resistant. M. lentis's ligand binding sites differ from that of M. vitulinus, causing the binding of muran chloride ions, um, which is present in beta-lactam antibiotics. Due to the differences of the binding sites, M. lentis PBP2A has a wide range of antibiotic resistance, while PBP2 mainly functions for regeneration and growth, so not for antibiotic resistance. Um, the folds on the, of this, in the structure of PBP2A inhibits beta-lactam activity by bringing the threshold, uh, bringing the molecule close to its intrinsic folds and inactivation threshold. Given the, that mechate originated from M. Floretti, uh, mutations during gene transfer in MEC A of M. lentis, M. scruci, and the S. aureus um, results in the evolution of PBP2 to PBP2A. Um, since MEC A in M. scruci was located outside the SCC elements, it was suggested that the gene was transferred vertically during speciation. The similarity of PBP2A and PBP2 Two indicates that illegitimate illeg recombination might have also occurred. However, due to the selective pressure on MECA, changes in the nucleotide sequences didn't affect protein structure. Bacteria being able to transfer and evolve genes quickly pose a serious issue with the increase of resistance in among bacteria species. The increased ligand capacities of M. lentis, M. vitulinus, and M. stefanovici provided beta-lactam resistance. The closeness of macrococcus with slepilococci allows intertransfer of antibiotic resistant genes, including genes for beta lactam resistance. Being mostly present in our livestock, the interaction of macrococcus and staphylococcus pose a great risk for human infections. Present day treatments for bacterial infections only eliminate the antibiotic susceptive bacteria, allowing bacteria with resistant genes to reproduce. As beta-lactam resistant genes and MECA gets more pre prevalent among bacteria, there awaits an epidemic. And um, finally, more research is needed in the development of antibiotic resistance to, to prevent bacterial diseases from being invasive and fatal. Thank you for listening to my presentation and goodbye. Mm -hmm.